guys it's Steph welcome back to my channel today I'm filming an Etsy sticker haul for you I have five shops to show you currently in this pile here I've only got the four I've got Lily Pink Prints made by Lizard, Peony Planner and Peggy Dahl um, I will have Squiggle Pop Studio as well however uh, my order from her has not arrived yet and, my, and I'm about to plan next week so I want um, I want to I need to use some of these um, <laughs> so I needed to film this and I'm just going to edit in the Squiggle Pop Studio when it gets here to the haul. Or I might just do it in its own haul. I don't know. Or I might, I might just share it on Instagram. Don't know. We'll just see what happens. Could just be these four, could be five. Anyway, so I'm just going to jump straight in and show you from these shops. I'm going to start with Lily Pink Prints because that's... Ooh, She's a shop that I've sh shared on this channel before. You guys know that I love Lily Pink Prints. So I'll just zoom down on in. So as per usual, this is her business card. Etsy and Instagram is on the bottom. And then I just have a coupon code on the back. All that information will be linked below. This is her new sampler. I love that it's like themed and it's all purple. I actually want a whole page of these meal plan ones. This breakfast one's really cute. She does really good icons I'm starting to discover and I slightly want to collect all of them and also her food ones I'm gonna I'm gonna love as well. So you guys have seen before I use her colored dots and I just got a full size a full page of the pastel ones. Um, these are just really pretty. You know, and I, now I've got a few more versatile colours for different spreads. And then I got um, three sheets of page flags in three different colour schemes. Here you can see. So I've got the Her Traditional Brights one here. I've got Her Pastel one, which is this one. And then this is just a random colour scheme that she does as well. So I really love those. Next I've got two sheets of these quote stickers. Um, so I've got don't quit your daydream, do all things with kindness, do what you love, focus on the good, life is beautiful, you are my sunshine, make dreams happen and collect moments not things. These are really, really nice. I, I really love them. I am... I'm trying to get out of only using Lily Pink Prints headers. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and I'm enjoying the things that I'm trying. And these are the second quote page, or this is the second quote page rather. She believes she could, so she did. It's going to be hard, but hard is not impossible. Believe in yourself and you'll be unstoppable. You are a warrior. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. Don't quit. The best way to get done is to simply begin. Sorry, the best way to get things done is to simply begin. Your mistakes don't define you. So I really like those. And then these are the icons I was talking about before. I just got these two. So the first one is her fridges and they're just multicolored. And I got, she has open fridges and closed ones. I like the open ones just because I think it's a little bit more of a fun detail. And I also think they're kind of cute. Um, so I got a sheet of those. Just so, because, I mean, like, I don't leave expired foods and stuff in my fridge often or anything like that. But um, I am I'm one person. I shop for one person. And as you guys would may or may not know, when you shop, things aren't made in amounts that are suitable for one people. Uh, one people. More, like one person, they generally for like two to four serves or things like that. And it's a little bit hard to track how much I have. And I, I do only have a small fridge. I don't, and it, like the freezer's not big enough to freeze everything. So I do have to clean my fridge out quite often. And then I got this sheet as well, which is her um, bed sheets slash towels. I'm going to be using these in particular for my bed sheets. Um, because I did buy specific towel stickers, which you'll see in a second. So yeah, that's my Lily Pink Prince order. Love it. Next up is my Made by Alyssa order. I'm going to fit you in frame there. There we go. So this is her sampler. It's really cute. 
kind of fun color scheme to it and it's very functional so I do I do love that it would be nice to uh, to try a few things out and then I just got a page of her skinny page legs you can see how thin these are like let me just oh wow um, someone's screaming outside and that does not sound good but okay yeah, you can see how thin they are. They're absolutely tiny. Like even it's not. It's like half my thing. Oh, sorry. It's like half of my nail. So yeah, I think I'm gonna love these. And then I just got some of her um, April horizontal color scheme stickers. So I got the checklist, just these boxes, and then her double dots and these labels and these ones and stuff I just got all of those so they'll be nice to have because I'm in my in my horizontal I do like to keep to the color scheme so these are going to be good to have then I just got a sheet of no spend stickers um, I want to try save saving some money so having days where I don't spend anything whatsoever will be really good I got her silhouette portrait stickers these are super cute and they're going to denote when I'm working on stuff for an upcoming project. So yeah, I'm excited about those. And then these are the towel stickers I was talking about. Let me just zoom in. You can sort of see the detail on it. So like a towel on a rack. They're really pretty. And um in the different color schemes and stuff, so they'll be nice to use for towels and use the Lily Pink Prince ones as bed sheets. Next up, oh, very blurry. There we go. Next up is Peony Planner. This is my first order from Peony Planner, and I'm actually very impressed. So, her stickers are matte, um, and it's a relatively thin matte paper, which is nice. They're not going to bulk up the planner too much. That's really good. So, this is her sampler. Oh, why will nothing focus? There we go. This is her sampler. Really nice. Again, I like that it's sort of got a colour scheme to it. It's really pretty. I love this wash dishes sticker and I feel like I need some of those in my life. Then I got her smoothie stickers. I want to start getting back into smoothies and stuff so it would be nice to have these to denote when I do. Um when I do have a smoothie and it'll be nice to sort of track it or choose select days to do it so that I can get into the habit of having them more often. Then I got her wine stickers. I work in um, a bar so it'll be nice to have these to denote um, work just to add to my, my work stickers just as a little bit of a fun decoration you know. Let me just zoom you in a little touch. Next up are her spending stickers, and these come in a variety of different colours. I'm running out of Caitlin & Co ones, and I'm trying to find little things and sidebar, <sighs> sidebar stickers, excuse me, um, that I like. So I've got these to try out. And then the last thing I bought was a kit. This is her Harry Potter kit. So the first sheet here is the headers, little things and weekend banner. It says to do today littles. It's got meal plans, TVs, two laundry baskets, two packing boxes, three hearts and three asterisks and then the weekend banner. And can we just talk about this font on the weekend banner? Seriously, like that's like a script and a half. It is so beautiful. I absolutely love this sheet. Then I have her full boxes here. You get two for each house color, um, four patterned, four solid, and then all the decor like decorative sheets. I love that hers includes the dark mark, forks, Hedwig is flying, a, like um, carrying a letter. I love that it's got a snape and. Um, 
Malfoy. It's I'm a very big Harry Potter fan, if you guys hadn't noticed. And um Yeah, I really love these. Then I just have the ombre heart checklists. Which are nice. The full boxes. The one thing that irritates me is that this Hufflepuff one is not the same as these three. But I think I know how I'm going to combat that when I do the spread. And then I have the bottom washi and other washi. So that's Peony Planner. And lastly, I have these two packs from Peggy Dahl. I got a grab bag and an oops pack. So I'm going to do the oops pack first. So I don't I don't know if this is how big her sheets always are. I'm going to say they're not, but I, I don't actually know. Because these also seem to have been designed. Like some of them are like cut out from sheets. But then other ones are... Like, they have the, the details and stuff on them, so I'm really not sure. But anyway, let's just jump in. So first up, I have these teardrops. I see nothing wrong with them. Like, they're cut out completely, so I'm not sure why they're in oops. Then I have these three little Lego heads. They're so fun. Again, don't know why they're in here. They look fine to me. These fruits and veggies ones, um, slightly off cut on this top one maybe. Like there's there's basically nothing wrong with these either, but they're cute. These checklists, there's nothing wrong with them either. So I don't know what the go with those is. These ones. Um, I think it's that the hands are a little bit off, maybe. This laundry one, you, you can tell that it's from here. I love these. Oh, let me just focus you a little. So do laundry, didn't do laundry, laundry day, catch up laundry. Three of each of those and then four blank baskets. So that's nice. These little checklists here have there's two foxes and two penguins. They're really cute. And then there's these like a boss stickers. This one just looks like it's been peeled up and then put back on. So I don't know. Like a boss, like a boss, like a boss. Then I have these ones that say let's cook. I actually have not a clue who these people are, but these are super fun, so I'm kind of excited they have them. Might use them for meal, pre uh, meal prepping days. And then I have these panda boxes and some checklists and a half box and decoration. The only thing that I see sort of wrong with these is that they're printed on like different kinds of paper. The ones that I struggled to find anything wrong with. Although I'd struggled on all of them, but she's got two different paper types. So I'm thinking maybe that's whites and oops. Maybe she's changed to her paper. I don't know. Maybe she just printed random experimental ones. I've really got no idea. But that's the oops pack. Then I just have the grab bag. Um, these are both $5 in her shop, I think. $5? Yeah, I, th I think they were $5 each. All these shops will be linked down below as well. If I remember, I'll link their Instagrams as well. So in this one, I just have these super cute little, like, watercolored cupcakes. They're really pretty. These yay or nay stickers. These ones say shoot for the moon and to the moon and back. 
for cleaning like a boss stickers. These are going to be good for days where I clean literally everything. Some coffee cups. I've got three normals, three that say but first coffee and then three kawaii ones. Um, I'll probably only use the top three if I use any and I'll rack the rest. Some kitties. Some kittens I think. Yeah, some little kitty checklists. They're really fun. Some balloons. I don't think I saw these before, but I do like that these bottom ones have some heart balloons in them. That's nice. These ones. This one says, give me all the bacon and eggs. Then there's just like a washi strip and a half box. These are so cool. Some more, or some penguin half boxes, I should say. This actually is like, with this sheet, it's the bigger sheet that I got in the Ops pack. Um, so I've got some checklists as well. These look sized for the horizontal, but I actually am not too sure. But yeah. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below your sticker shop recommendations. I'd love to try some new Aussie ones in particular. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. It's all linked down below. Go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye!